Hi crafty friends, Lacey here, the Cheeky Bum, and today I have a Joann's haul. Now, I was not expecting to buy anything at Joann's. Well, one thing, one thing. Um, but they were having some pretty good sales, it's like stuff that I didn't realize. So it wasn't really sales, it was just stuff that was gonna be clearanced out, and they were doing a 25% discount for military. Usually I think it's like 10, maybe 15. Um, so I was super excited and I found some stuff that I was was not expecting to at all so this is the only thing i went for so this is my first halloween purchase of the year like prop wise like not like craft wise i think i've gotten a couple charms from like timu or something um but this is like the first like halloween thing so these were 40 percent off i got an extra 25 percent off of that um I was so excited for these. So they're like these drippy candles. I'm going to put these on my mantle and try to take a picture of them. Um, my mantle is all black, so I wanted them to be black so it just kind of fits in. And even after Halloween, I'll probably move these into my Harry Potter room. Um, but I was so excited for these and there was only one left. So I purchased them and had to go pick them up. But this was the only thing I was going in for. And then I was like, oh, let's wait. I wanted um, to grab some glue. So I was like, I'm just going to go back to the craft stuff and take a gander. And boy, was I surprised. So I went to go buy more of the Hero Art Precision Glue. This is a bottle I have had. And um, my nozzle is starting to split. I refilled this. This usually has barely arts glue in it. But I really like the bottle because I am too lazy. I am not going to switch out these tips for everything. I'm just not. Um, so this one stays as my fine point. And then this one is a fine, fine point, but obviously more than this itty bitty tip. So I really like this bottle. Um, it does get kind of gooey sometimes, but I don't know, for whatever reason, I really like it. And yeah, I'm not going to switch out tips because I'm too lazy. So unless I buy another bottle like this, that I can have a different tip on that I can leave on, it's not happening. So I decided I needed to purchase that. I think this, these were 40% off. Um, so yeah, not, not a, a huge deal, but I did get an extra 25%. So even better, I think. So it ended up being just a few bucks. But what I was surprised at is they were clearancing out. And this is not one a typical one I go to. I had to drive uh, like an hour to pick up that those uh, candles because <laughs> my local one is a very small one doesn't always have stuff. So this one has the, a designer um, paper section and they were getting rid of all like, they were clearing some out of the Bo Bunny, Maggie Holmes and um, is it Jen Hanningfield? I'm not quite sure, but all of this stuff they're clearing scene out. So I'm guessing they're bringing in like the new Maggie Holmes and some other collections. So that's exciting. Um, I only grabbed, like I was definitely late to the party. So I grabbed everything I could, but it wasn't much. So, um, these were the only card kits that they had. Um, I don't own these, so it, it wasn't bad to have. Um, and these were only, I paid $2.60 a piece for these. So I'm super excited about those. Um, yeah, I don't have the Bow Bunny Brighton paper, but I can grab, I can pick up one of those paper pads. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find one at another Joann's hopefully um but yeah for 260 I thought these were great uh, I can gift it like this one is kind of you know coming undone a little but all the pieces are in there it just ripped and like the sticker's not sticking on the back but this one looks great so even if I don't use it um there are you like especially this one is not quite my style but it will be great as like if I want to gift it or something I don't know it was a good deal so I I had to pick it up I had to I also picked up this paper pad because I didn't have this one. I have papers to this and I have other bits of this collection, but not the six by eight paper pad. And this was only two twenty three. Very cute. I do have um, the bigger papers of this, um, just single sheets that I've picked up when they were on sale. So can't go wrong with that. And then I picked up these are the Woodland Grove stamps again I don't know if I'll keep these or if I'll use these as a nice little gift uh, let's see what the stamps were these were a dollar ten so good good price and then I picked up this sticker sheet which is also where to next so this one's Vicky what was this 
This was $1.10 as well. I just love the little shops on the bottom. <laughs> but perfect for uh, travel notebook, no, traveler's notebook and so forth. Um, there, there was only one pack of these left, so I picked it up 90 cents. I have one pack um, that I've been using, so I'll have a pack for next year. Uh, they did have a couple 12 by 12s left, but I barely made a dent in the patriotic paper that I have. So I just don't think I need more paper. Um, and I do like last year's a little bit better than this year's. Um, but I did pick up the sticker pack. They didn't have anything else because the stuff was all like 70% off or maybe it was even more. It might've been 75 or 80. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So all the summer stuff was definitely gone, picked over. There was just this lone little sticker sheet left. So I, I picked that up. Um, I picked up a couple of ribbons because these were in a bin that were cheap. But look at this lemon I picked up because I just thought it was cute. So it's like clear. If you don't like um, the wire, you can always cut the wire off if you wanted to. But I thought that was so cute. Where's this ribbon at? Isn't that going to tell me? So this was $1.35 from $5.99. So not a great deal, but definitely like worth grabbing. It was the only one left, but I really really liked that. I thought it was cute. And then I picked up this pale blue. Uh, I just loved the, what do they call this edge? It's like a, it's, I don't know, like a crepe edge. I'm not quite sure. But again, this was $1.35 or what I paid. Anyway, I think that's with all the discounts too. So I paid $1.35. If they had other colors, I would have grabbed other colors, but these are perfect for like tying onto packages or um, wrapping up swaps, tying a bow on them, whatever. They were really cute. But the thing that like blew my mind was this. So it's been on my radar for a while. Like I've really been thinking about getting a thermal cinch and I was like, oh, I just don't know if I'll use it that much. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get the smaller cinch, like the mini cinch. Um, I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace for, um, you know, just to get one to play with before I was like, do I want to spend the money on them? They're just kind of an expensive thing to have. And I don't think that I'll use it that much, but binding stuff would be nice. You know, like I think my die cut machine, like not even my Cricut, like my, my, my big shot is what I use the most. I use my big shot for everything. Um, but I definitely wanted some kind of binding thing and I wasn't sure what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I've been looking at my Facebook marketplace. There's just, like, my area is just not like, there's not a lot of crafters down here. Maybe it's just all like, it's either young tourist or old, old retired people. And they, I, I'm not quite sure. I just don't have a lot of crafters. We don't have a lot of, like, I don't have any scrapbook stores other than the big box stores. Like we have nothing, but anyway, back to the point. I ended up getting one of the big cinch machines and I got this for $44. Crazy, right? So they had the pink one. They had this one and I noticed that there was a red sticker underneath it. And the red sticker underneath said $59.97. And I was like, oh, maybe that's not right. I brought it up there and, uh, and these are normally $150, just so you know. So I was like, that's like $100 off. There's like no way. Like the box is a little, a little damaged, but not enough to make a difference. I haven't even opened it up yet. I haven't played with it. I haven't done anything. Um, so I took it up. She couldn't find it. I went back, took a picture of like the tag <laughs> and she typed it in and she's like, yeah, it's $59.97. So after uh, my military and everything, it brought it down to $44.98. So I paid $45 for this thing. I was blown away. I'm so excited. Um, I definitely wanted the bigger one, but I was going to settle for the smaller cinch um, just because, you know, it takes up less room and it's a lot less expensive because again, this is something that I probably won't use often. It will be like once in a blue moon. I'm like, oh, I want to make a little notebook or something like that. But I was so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play with it. Um, yeah, a thermal cinch, maybe maybe if they come down or if they make a smaller one, I'm not sure. I just don't know if like that is what I want, but this, I can do a lot more pages and stuff than the thermal. So anyway, that is my Joann's haul and I was super excited with the stuff I found. Like I was not expecting it. It's not what I went in there for, but that's when I feel like I find like the best deals when I have like 
no expectations but when I'm on the hunt for stuff like there's never any sales or anything going on so yeah I wish I would have found like the designer stuff a little bit earlier so I had more of a chance to get more of a selection but I didn't um, I do have another one that I could go to that's an hour away I just don't know if I'll have a chance to um, and when I went on the app to kind of look I didn't show anything but that store never shows anything and like I'll scan stuff and it never has it and that it's in stock but I have it in my hand like it's crazy like their system is so backwards but it's a newer store so I don't know so yes so if you haven't gone to your Joann's in a while and you have a designer paper section again my local one does not because it's very small but if yours do go check it out because you'll find some good deals because I'm there I'm guessing they're bringing in the new stuff I'm excited to see what the new stuff is there's always sales on this randomly they'll have like 40 percent off but when when the things are like a few dollars a piece like that that is that is golden <laughs> so thank you for watching if you have any questions down below let me know but you know happy hunting i hope you guys find some good deals because you never know what's out there the 25 percent is i think over i think it ended the i think it was just through the weekend so like for four days they were having it for 25 percent off it might have only been for a day or two i don't know joanne's kind of stingy um with their their like their percentage off i guess um they never ask <laughs> i have one store that always asks like oh are you military you know teacher blah 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 and then i have another store that never ask i'm like oh you know i get military so you got to take your discounts while you can you know things are tight all over so you never know so if you have any questions let me know below if not i will see you in the next video bye guys